Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 8th of June. I'm James Spann. Tropical showers moving across Alabama this afternoon. Still watching for any evidence of uh, rotation or an isolated tornado. But drier air comes in here later this week by Thursday and Friday. Let's take a look at the big picture this afternoon. We'll start with the upper air look. Got a big trough in the western states. The circulation of Cristobal coming up into Arkansas. The circulation center is just north of Monroe, Louisiana, on the way north, approaching Little Rock. And you can see bands of tropical showers on the east side of the system. So far, they've been fairly behaved. We've had some broad rotation, but uh, no tornado warnings as of uh, 2.30 this afternoon. But still, there's the chance of maybe an isolated brief tornado, especially over northwest Alabama this evening. Uh, temperatures are mostly in the 80s, but 70s in place where rain is falling, and it is so muggy. Dew points way up in the 70s. Not so sure about that 81 at Pell City. If that's the case, that is about as high as the dew points get here. Tuscaloosa with a dew point of 78, and will stay in very humid air through at least the middle of the day Wednesday. Flash flood watches in effect from the Gulf Coast up to parts of Iowa and Wisconsin. In Alabama, we have a wind advisory for the western counties of the state, the counties there in the darker shades of brown, a flash flood watch for parts of Clark, Washington, Choctaw, Mobile, and Baldwin counties in southwest Alabama through tonight. Here's the severe weather outlook for tonight. We've got an enhanced risk for parts of the High Plains, for parts of Nebraska up into Minnesota. And again, down here, we've got that uh, risk of severe storms, mainly for the western side of the state, and that's for the possibility of a brief isolated tornado. Uh, the guys at SPC put this outlook out, this MCD, Mesoscale Discussion, uh, suggesting the better chance of a brief weak tornado or two would be over north Mississippi and maybe extreme northwest Alabama through the evening hours, but there's no watch currently in effect. This is tomorrow. Got a risk of severe storms north of the state with the remnants of Cristobal. And day three, which is Wednesday, a risk of severe storms along a surface front that will be trailing the remnants of Cristobal. In Alabama, there's a marginal risk on Wednesday, and we'll talk more about this setup in just a moment. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals from Mississippi and Arkansas north in Alabama. Amounts so about one-half to one inch for most spots. few locations have picked up a little more than that today. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow afternoon at 4. And, again, you can see uh, the remnants of Cristobal out there across the middle of the country. The surface low should be over Kansas. Uh, another surface low that's east of Des Moines. And for us down here, just a very muggy air mass, much like today, with scattered showers and storms, very humid, highs mid to upper 80s, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Wednesday, here comes a front. They don't come through here that often this time of the year, but it looks like this one will. Let's go to the high-res NAM. This is 6 o'clock Wednesday evening, showing a few storms in progress in advance of the front. Uh, this is the instability, and that clearly shows the cold front position there right over the northwest corner of the state. Out ahead of that, the instability values are in excess of 2,000 joules per kilogram in spots, but there's not hardly any uh, SRH. The SRH value is very low, so tornadoes should not, not be a problem. Some of the storms Wednesday may be producing strong, gusty winds as they move in in advance of that front. And then Thursday, a really nice day, a very dry air mass. Sunny, low humidity, mid-80s. Check out the precipitable water values in those shades of brown and blue. You rarely see that here in June. So a very comfortable day. Friday will be in the 50s in many spots, upper 50s and low 60s. The high will be in the 80s. The sky's sunny. The humidity stays low. Very dry air mass on Saturday. Sunny with 80s and the same thing on Sunday. And again, some of the cooler pockets may be hitting the upper 50s either Saturday or Sunday morning. But the weekend looks good and dry. Here's a week from today, Monday the 15th, troughing way up north and west of here. And that looks like moisture tries to creep back in. So we'll bring back the chance of a few scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm by Monday of next week. Let's go out 10 days. Thursday of next week, June 18th, big old 591 ridge over much of the country, and that looks pretty quiet. 
We note the GFS depicting a little tropical low near the western tip of Cuba. The European says, nah. In 10 days out, we all know this will come and go. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean about an inch, really not that much. Temperatures mostly mid to upper 80s through the middle of next week. Then a chance we could see some low 90s. And the CPC outlook June 15th through June 21st, suggesting temperatures could be a little below average around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.